In 1992, critically acclaimed director Quentin Tarantino presented his unique vision of the criminal underworld. His work Reservoir Dogs recalled classics such as John Huston's Asphalt Jungle and Stanley Kubrick's The Killing. But mostly it recalled Ringo Lamb's less than spectacular 1987 film City on Fire. If either of these films teaches us anything, it's that crime doesn't pay. Well, I gotcha! Uh-huh, uh, you thought I didn't see you now, didn't you? Uh-huh, uh, you try to sneak by me now, didn't you? Uh-huh, uh, now give me what you promised me, get it here, come on! Let's go over it. Where are you? I stand outside and guard the door. I don't let anybody go in or go out. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown waits in the car. Parked across the street, like in the signal, then he pulls up in front of the store. Mr. Blonde and Mr. Blue. Crowd control. They handle customers and employees. That girl's ass. It's sitting right here on my dick. <laughs> Myself and Mr. Pink? Uh, you two take the manager in the back and make him give you the diamond. We're there for those stones, period. Since no display cases are being fucked with, no alarm should go off. We're out of there in two minutes, not one second longer. Okay. Let's go through what happened. Okay. We're in the place, everything's going fine. Then the alarm gets tripped. I turn around and all these cops are outside. Yeah, bam, 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 bam. I told them not to touch the fucking alarm. They did. If they hadn't done what I told them not to do, they'd still be alive. My fucking hero. Thanks. That's your excuse for going on a kill crazy rampage. I don't like alarms, Mr. White.
set us up. Dad, I'm sorry, but I don't know what the hell's happening. It's all right, Eddie, I do. What did he say? I'm doing good, but good. You're not trying to buy away. What did he say? I'm doing good, but what the fuck are you talking about? That lump of shit's working with the LAPD. <laughs> I don't have the slightest fucking idea what you're talking about. Joe, Joe, I don't know what you think you know, but you're wrong. Like hell I am. Joe, trust me on this. You've made a mistake. He's a good kid. I understand you're hot, you're super fucking pissed. We're all real emotional, but you're barking up the wrong tree. I know this man, he wouldn't do that. You don't know Jack's shit. I do. The cocksucker tipped off the cops, and a Mr. Brown and a Mr. Blue killed. How do you know all this? I was the only one I wasn't 100 percent on. I should have my fucking head examined going ahead when I wasn't 100 percent. That's your proof? You don't need proof when you have instinct. I ignored it before, but no more. Don't leave me! Who's in there? Hong Ding, you're so sick. Fu Guo, Li Qiyao, Wang Chen, Ji Zhao, Huang Zhao. You lost your fucking mind, Joe. You're making a terrible mistake. I'm not gonna let you make. If you're more lean here, more lean young. I look. It's been quite a long time. A lot of jobs. There's no need for this, man. Let's just put our guns down and let's settle this with a fucking conversation. Joe, if you kill that man, you die next. Repeat, if you kill that man, you die next. Larry. We have been friends, and you respect my dad, and I respect you. But I will put fucking bullets right through your heart. You put that fucking gun down now. God damn you, Joe! Don't make me do this. Larry, stop pointing that fucking gun at my dad! She 
drank and pulled up. She put the lime in the cooking. Now she drank and pulled up. She put the lime in the cooking. Now she drank and pulled up. She put the lime in the cooking. Now she called the doctor, woke him up and said, Doctor.